Do you have engine trouble code P0442 for a small evap leak? And at the same time, whenever you stop for gas and you fill up, when you go to restart, it takes a long time to crank? Then this video is for you. It's pretty short. Stick around, find out how to test and fix it. I am not going to explain all of how evap systems work but the basics is is the vapors off your gas tank uh, go through a line and then there's a valve a solenoid valve that will open and close as the pressure builds up in the tank and the uh, engines at a certain rpm that valve will open to take the vapors off the tank and burn them it's an emissions thing so the vapors just don't go out to atmosphere it also saves gas mileage and there's some codes that you can get with this Specifically today, I want to talk about P0442. It's a small EVAP leak. There's a few different problems that can happen to cause this code, but I want to talk about the purge valve today. And the purge valve is that valve I'm talking about that opens and closes to relieve the pressure and the vapors off the top of the tank and burn them in your engine. So if you get P0442 code, uh, and it's your purge valve, an easy way to tell uh, two ways. First off, if you fill up, if your gas tank is empty and you fill up with gas and then you go to start your car and it won't start, it cranks a long time. That's because as you filled up the tank, the valve is stuck open and those vapors come through the tank and into the engine and essentially flood it. And it's got to crank a long time before it'll start up. So if you want to test the purge valve, I have a purge valve right here and I have hooked up uh, two leads to it and I've got a small 12 volt battery here. Now, as I touch this to the negative terminal, you can hear it click on and off. That's good. So you might think it's good, but here's what you really got to test. Since I was filling up with gas and I was having a long crank after filling up with gas, I knew my engine was flooding out. This valve is actually stuck open. Right now, without it energized, without the solenoid energized, it should be normally closed. And I can I can blow air right through here. I shouldn't be able to do that. Now, when I blow air through here and I touch this lead, it gets much better. So basically, there's just a sealing problem inside with this valve. So I'm going to replace the solenoid. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.